1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Kwam Yasharala, rise Israel, call Halayim La, Alahayanawa, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Baracha Akwada, Shalawam, Wabarakim, La Bahayarium, Akim, Akwatim, Wabayim, Shal Yasharala, Washaya, Kawaba, Gatwala, Rakab, Zakun Yam Nawa, Baai. All praises to the Most High, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Spirit Holy. Peace and blessings to the elect, brothers, sisters, and children of Israel. And double honor, great millstone, our elders in these times. This the brother Zion coming at you with another lesson to feed the lambs to the Holy Spirit. Racha Akwadash, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Today's lesson is entitled, Your Adversary, the Devil. Wants to seek and devour you. Okay. Your adversary the devil. Wants to seek and devour you. Okay. And this is something we need to keep in mind man. Alright. When we do our daily actions. Even when you sitting by yourself man. Alright. Okay. Because you can walk in the room. Anywhere you can go to a grocery store, you can go to a restaurant, it don't matter where you at, man. But the moment you walk into a room, all of those demons that's embodying and in, that is encamping those people, man, okay, they already know that you walked in. And why is that? Because you believe. Especially when you believe. Okay. Those damn demons. They already know that you walked in. You know. You sick, You damn near stick out like a sore thumb. So to speak. And these evil spirits are doing their job. You know. They are doing their job. They are doing what they are designed to do. Okay. And that's taking you off your square and getting you destroyed. You might have a beautiful young woman. All right. She might be in her 20s, 25, cold. She got everything. But you see this demon on this picture? She got that in her spirit, though. You might be with your best friend. He might not be in the truth, but you might be with a friend. You might see people looking at you. But if you got your spiritual glasses on, you see this picture right here. You see them looking at you. You see these demons looking at you, man. You know? We got to have that spiritual discernment. Okay? Because these devils... These demons that's encamping these people, they are doing what they designed to do. They might be having a conversation about whatever. You know, it don't matter what what type of conversation they having. You know, something different than you, but that demon that's inside knows when you walk in. They might be talking amongst themselves and not even seeing you like the actual person might not see you. But that devil, that demon know that you walked in. And that demon want to alter that person's mind, you know, to get to you. All right. To put you in some mess. To put you in some drama. To have you take off. You know what I'm saying? To have you get off your, your square. You know? This is a spiritual war and not a carnal war. This is a war of the mind, man. Con? 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant. Right. 
Be sober. Watch and pray. Okay? Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Okay? And that's what we have to do. We have to be vigilant. We have to be sober. We have to watch and pray, man. Because if you are off your square, because if you are off your square, you already know, man. It's going to be over for you. You understand? Let's get you one more scripture. Let's give you Proverbs 25. And we'll close out, man. Proverbs 25 and 28. He that have no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Okay, see, you got to rule over your own spirit. And by you watching and praying, okay, you will have that ability to do it through the fear of Yahweh Shema Shah, man. You would actually be able to rule over your spirit. Not letting things get to you, man. Being temperate in certain situations. Because I'm telling you, man, the devil tricky. And if that don't work, he'll slither in and do another, uh, and you know what I'm saying, try to, try to get you another way, man. But if you're sober and vigilant, you will be on point. You will be on game. You know? But if you don't rule over your spirit and you just out there, you just doing impulse actions, just, you know, you just, you just out here, you like a city without no walls, man. Anybody can infiltrate, man. And now your spirit wax grows and you got this demon right here Embodying your spirit. So these are things that we need to keep in mind, man. Okay? Alright? Be vigilant and sober. Alright? To the next one, I say Shalom.